Good morning. Look who's excited to vlog. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just tried to get ready with this lovely lady. <laughs> Look at this. She just gets into everything. Those are all like face masks. Stuff. So, John is working a 24 hour shift. It is just me and Obs. We have no plans today. So, we'll just see where the day takes us, like every day, because we don't have a life. We're all dressed for the day. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> say hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Yeah, say good morning. Look at this clip. In her hair. <laughs> so cute. She gets so excited. She's such a vlogger. Such a vlogger. Okay, so we're going to a lemonade stand from a friend who babysits these kids and she's raising money for the Humane Society. So we're going to go to a lemonade stand and then I have a personal training client later today. <laughs> And she's gonna go hang out with her friend Taryn. Um, my like best friend has a daughter that's only like four months older than Aubrey, so they can play around. And Aubrey can finally walk, so she can keep up with her. But right now, we are watching Karen Swan. What's in her hospital bag? Which inspired me to do a what's in my diaper bag. So. A lot of what's in my diaper bag are for newborns, and I kind of want to show you guys what's in a diaper bag for a typical, not crazy, <laughs> just a normal, um, awkward mom. What's in her diaper bag for her 11 month old? So like, let's let's do this. You ready? Aubrey's gonna help me, so it's gonna be a freaking mess. Okay, let's try to do this. Aubrey is already messing with the camera, so let's try. <laughs> really? This is my life. Okay, so obviously that did not work out. Um, Aubrey was nuts, so I played hard with her, fed her, and now she is down for a nap. So let's try to start this over. This it's my diaper bag. It looks really big on camera, but it's really not like that bulky. It can kind of like be smushed and stuff. Um, this is from Target. It is actually not designed to be a diaper bag. I do not believe, um, but it works really well. I think after your baby gets a little bit bigger, you don't necessarily need a diaper bag. You just need something to put all their things in. I guess that's true for when they're babies, but I had a diaper bag that was actually a backpack that was meant to be a diaper bag. And I have to say, I would highly recommend a backpack for your diaper bag, whether your baby is two days old, two, month, two months old, or even like two years old. It's just so much easier, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not on your shoulder. Same with my purse, I have like a shoulder strap purse just because things just fall everywhere. I need it secure on me because Aubrey is just gone, you know? So, I love the compartments. And so we're gonna start with this front compartment, which is a pretty decent size. And in here, I have sunscreen, a passy, just some toys. She just likes things in her hand. So if you just have random objects, she's fine. Um, some chapstick for myself and some hand sanitizing spray. So um, we use the Aveeno Baby I don't know guys, I got this for my diaper shower. It works, um, I don't really, I'm not really a sunscreen expert. This is, okay, these compartments on the side, there's one on each of them, which is what really drew me to this bag. And I put her sippy cups of water and then um, just a regular sippy cup with water in it that I can put formula in if we're on the go. Cause if you guys didn't know, we do supplement with formula. I don't pump anymore because I'm hardly making anything. I just kind of nurse her two to three times a day so she gets something. I really believe that like breast milk 
is it's freaking magic i know that sounds crazy but it's just it's helped aubrey so much that i just want to keep nursing her at least until a year which will be a year this month if you're watching this in august she'll be a year um so yeah that's my spiel about breastfeeding so nothing against formula mamas because i give my baby formula and we have supplemented since about nine months we started with just a bottle um just one bottle but now she probably gets most now we're kind of like weaning off milk so we'll see or reading off formula at least so this is our big compartment i really like how there are little i don't know if you guys can see but there's like almost like inside of your purse for like your phone we put pouches of food before we go somewhere we put like a little pouch of food for her but let's dive in so you always need to keep an extra onesie just in case because the day that I don't have an extra onesie, something will happen. Okay, that just went out of focus. So the day that I don't have an extra onesie, something's gonna happen, you know what I mean? And then we have a couple of these Sprout Organic Curls. These are broccoli. There's only a couple left in there. We just have to have some sort of snack when we're at a restaurant or something. She really likes these. So these are for, it says, is your child ready? Uh, starts to stand and walk alone. Feeds self easily with fingers. Chews through a variety of textures and eats thicker solids with larger pieces. So she does these with these pretty well. I have to give it to her one at a time or else she'll try to like shove like five in her mouth at a time and that's not good. Um, they're made with chickpeas and lentils and of course broccoli. Non-GMO, gluten-free and no concentrate. So I think these are pretty good. We like them. We have the cheddar ones also. Okay, and then this is our packet that um, we're leaving when she wakes up from her nap. So I always keep a little packet. And I always keep a hat because you never know. Um, I just keep a white one because that seems to match everything. Um, I'm all about sun protection. And uh, yeah, we always keep a hat in our diaper bag. This is kind of our bag. It's actually a swimsuit bag. It has, um, like for wet clothes, it has that inside material. And I was looking for something like this. I actually got this at Old Navy. And it's called, yeah, it's a bikini bag. But I, I put diapers, um, wipes, and she should have diaper cream in here somewhere. Yes, and diaper cream. So, and I guess if I needed to, I could really put, like if she, has wet clothes so it doesn't get in there because this is really easy to clean you can just like wipe the inside so this has been a lightsaber a lightsaber a life saver good grief a bib this table mat has saved us it is so nice we got it on amazon i think it was like eight bucks pretty much worth it. She does kind of like pick it up and want to toss it unless there's something on it to eat or to keep her occupied. So we just, I just roll it up like so and stick it in there. It needs to be wiped down from last time. Hey, sippy with water in it, like I said, so I can just put formula. See, I have like a little thing of formula in here. So it's just all ready to go. I don't have to find water. So these are really nice. I got them for my baby shower. I actually planned to not supplement with formula, but um, life happens. And so I'm happy I got this guy. It's not too bad. I think I got it at Target. It was probably like four or five bucks. Not too bad at all. But this is really great when you're traveling. You can fit um, little three servings of formula in there. And puffs. Just more variety. I feel like this age, it's all about keeping your baby occupied and finding things for them to do. I did have toys in this front pouch, but um, as you guys saw when I was trying to distract her, I was taking those toys out. And so I need to put them back in because right now, like looking around, like I see one over there and there's one over here. I need to like 
bring them back. She's really interested in them because she hasn't seen them in a while because I keep them in here for those meltdown moments or those moments when I'm trying to talk to somebody and I'm like, you need to be distracted. So these, back to the puffs, these are the plum organic super puffs. The blueberry with purple sweet potato. I don't know, she likes all of this stuff. She's not really picky on any of the puffs like right here. We have the strawberry with beet ones. And we've had the happy baby ones too. So I think that is it. Oh, one last thing is there is this little zipper kind of in the back, which is awesome. And we keep a couple of clean spoons in here. And that's just kind of where they go. So when we're out and about, she will kind of let us feed her. So she'll probably get either this whole thing, she eats really well for John, but she'll probably get through half a pouch with me and then she's done. But it's something, if we're waiting for food at a restaurant, we give these to her for snacks. We used to feed her one for an actual meal and now she's eating, um, like she fingers her food and we're actually starting to give her utensils that she just kind of holds or throws, but she's getting used to them. So that's what I have. It's actually a lot less than what I used to carry when um, Aubrey was really little. I feel like as a first time mom, you just bring everything, you bring like your whole house. And sometimes when I get ready, I feel like I need to do that. Like I'll bring an extra pair of shoes or if we're staying for a really long time, um, I'll bring like more formula. Sometimes I'll even try to pump. Um, right now, I'm not pumping hardly anything, but um, a couple months back, I would pump so much just to like have some so I wouldn't have to pump or um, nurse if I didn't have to. So that is what is in my diaper bag for my 11 month old. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more stuff like this, what's in my bag, um, what's in my car for Aubrey, um, or her room, what it looks like at 11 months now, give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below. I love to do this kind of stuff and I love to watch these kind of videos. They're so much fun. So let me know what you guys wanna see from this channel.